Alright, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Gene Forge 1. Here on my channel, Idle Listen. We rejoin our, you know, Shaper here, Shaper Evodius, Shaper Apprentice, here in the village of Kazg. If you recall last episode, we uh, explored the, the icy tunnels there to the northeast and fought a bunch of specters and got some good treasures and improvements. If you recall, we got two more levels of spellcraft, which was pretty nice. Yeah, definitely. So, that'll make our magic quite a bit stronger. And to include our healing craft, which is nice. But let's go. Go. There we are. Alright, so now we need to think where do we want to go. Because we could push past the Shaolai guards here to go to the dock. But, you know, even the you know, Astroth, the asked us not to abandon them. So we're not going to leave right yet. So, And we don't want Trajkov to realize that we're opposed to him quite yet. So we'll hold off there. So we could go north to this underground river. We have these two bridges that we could patrol bridges that we could go towards. We could try our hand to get into Spirit City. Huh. There's Dia Razad. Ancient Crypt or the Power Station. I'm thinking either the Underground River or let's try the Spirit City again. Now that we have to get through here sometime. So, you stride into a ruined city. By Shaper standards, it is a small thing. Several rows of buildings hewn out of the walls of the mountain. However, it is very impressive work from ancients who you thought likely is not were savages. <laughs> Some of the buildings have collapsed, but most of them are intact. They are still occupied in a way. You can see ghosts walking along the streets, in and out of the buildings. The ghosts don't seem hostile for the moment. If you invade their homes, they may change their mind. Huh. So, yes. Ah, oh, there's one right now. They're all, they're all neutral at the moment. But that will change if we go into any of their, their buildings. They... Expect their privacy to be respected, I suppose. Now, if we go over here, I think there's a building in which there's a hostile ghost. But we're going to try to not aggravate these ghosts for the moment. Because there is other, there are other fish to fry, if you like. There are. Or maybe it's over here. I don't know where that ghost is. Angry ghost. Okay. Oh, no. These guys right here. All right, well, let's go. Yes, they're going to turn on us as soon as we. Yep, as soon as we get close to them. So there's a bunch of battle betas, yeah, I think, or they battle gammas. <laughs> Clawbug is full of terror. Oh no, he's gonna kill them. Oh, poor Clawbug. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Clawbugs are not sufficient. Battle betas, ugh. Let's see. Can you kill him? I'm not kill, but... Do a number on him. The terror blizzards. Ugh. That's good. That's way to do it. Hmm. Now what to do? Ooh. We could use a swarm crystal, but that maybe is just asking to get my. Let's use this shielding spore. We already lost one critter. Yeah, let's try it. That was pretty good. Let's try that again. And again. Ah!
Oh, don't miss. You dum dums. No, they're gonna just gonna punch or kill the Vodius right here, I bet you. Oh, there's another one. Ugh, there's that stupid blish. Oh, I think we our strategy worked. Ha! Ah. Now you move out a little bit and Good, one dead. Another one dead. Doing all right. Come on. That is not doing all right. <laughs> Let's see, you go over here a little bit more. Heal. Yeah, just heal this cloud. Up. This one's glowing. Why are you go? Oh, it's a battle gamma. That's even more powerful. Isn't that nice? Hmm. Should be. Let's kill this battle beta if we can. Oh, he's running. Oh, I hope he doesn't set off the ghosts. Jeez Louise. That's no good. Are you mad? Are you mad, bro? Uh oh, there's in. Mike, how many are there? Jeez. This is a, a tough group. Nice. Oh my goodness, that barely works. Here, get it. Hmm. <laughs> um. Er. Heal this guy. But you need to go back a little bit. And now, what? Oh, we don't have enough mental magic. Hmm. Let's try this. Nice. That was a good hit. Alright, you engage. Oh, he's full of terror and running. And he's dead. Meow, meow, meow. Ow. Oh, that was pretty pathetic, I have to say. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. All right, let's begin with that. Oh, well. Let's try it again. Begin with that. Good. Although, we now need to make sure we hit. Good. Because the last one to hit an enemy is usually the one who's going to draw fire from that enemy. Good. Alright. I think we may have these guys beat. One more to grow on, or to die on. Uh. Heal, heal. Now everybody, get over here. No thanks to you idiots. Getting. Yes, kitty, I hear you, I hear you. The cat is meowing. ferociously or you know intensely well, that was quite a bit of that was quite the fight <laughs> but we prevailed although we did lose one oh, is there any treasure on the ground anybody drop anything I don't think so nope all right whatever so that was good that was we're victorious that Honor, are those creations here because of the, are those the Shalai made them to Chajkov? Or are, were they made by Gesh to keep outsiders out? Or are they just old rogues? I don't know. I don't think, I, I imagine they're probably made by, what's his face? 
Gesh, the Shaper. But we'll see. Hopefully they won't be too mad at us for killing them. We need to make another claw bug though, because we are down one. There. But we'll come back to this area later. Ah, the Great Temple. Now hopefully this will be our destination. Yes, it is. Gamma Greeter. Battle Gate Alphas are one of the most difficult and powerful creations. They are massive slabs of muscle with dedicated, if tiny, brains. This creature has clearly been given a series of instructions which he is carrying out now. It lumbers up to you and says, You in home of Gesh now. Gesh says he see and talk with you. You follow me. Stay close. Other creatures here kill you quick. And then the creature walks off. Alright, well let's go. Yes, you follow me. You not follow, and guards kill you. Follow now. Well, that's, you know, what you expect for a battle gamma, gamma, I guess. This ruin is the largest ancient building you've seen on Susha Island. It is an enormous structure with tall, arched, arched stone roofs and massive intact pillars. The markings and drawings on the walls seem to indicate it was a temple, and maybe a seat of government as well. The markings look like look both like prayers and records, both poetry and laws. Whatever it was used for, it was clearly the center of much activity. Recently, however, it has been adapted for other purposes. There is accumulated rubble and garbage, several tattered banners bearing shaper symbols hang from the walls. It looks as though they have been brought from elsewhere. The tracks of creations in it are in the dust everywhere. You see the distinct trails of both battle alphas and drakes. There is the faint smell of essence in the air. This mighty ruin has recently been commandeered, commandeered and turned into a shaper outpost, and a well-guarded one at that. An obelisk before you clearly states who has been taking up residence here. It says, the realm of Gesh. That's interesting. The realm of Gesh, huh? And drakes. I thought drakes are... Do shapers still make drakes? Legally? Are they officially? <laughs> Is Gesh still on the level? As far as the shapers are concerned, we'll see. I'm sure. This used to be the core of the. This used to be the core of the building. Whether the most important ceremonies here were political, religious, or both, they took place in this room. Since then, however, this room has been exhaustively remodeled. All the old things have been torn out and replaced with rough shaper laboratory. Fungal control panels and tables co covered with equipment line the walls. At the north end of the room, you see a shaper, flanked by a pair of loyal serviles. The shaper is tall and of heavy build. He looks like he was very strong and skilled even before he arrived on Sush Island. The use of augmentation canisters has left him radiating power and confidence. When he sees you, he smiles confidently. He doesn't seem to see you as the slightest threat. Ah, the shaper comes at last. Welcome. I am Gesh. You are my guest. Inspect what you want. Take what you want. As long as you do not wander too far from this chamber, you are safe. Please, now, come speak with me. Alright, well, let's see what this guy has to say. Ah, there he is. Let's save, actually. He's glowing. I don't trust glowing people. Okay, let's see. He is... Oh, he's neutral, not friendly. That's... that's interesting. He has a lot of hit points. He has 668 hit points. We have 48 hit points! Hello. Oh. What's he say? Hello, greetings, fellow shaper. Approach, fellow shaper. Oh. Alright. How about these serviles? Under servant serviles. Wow. 328 hit points. Like the ones we fought. Battle betas. And then cryo drapes? Oh, wow. Now he has powerful guards. Let's talk to him. You the master. Gesh the Shaper has deta has the detached arrogant look and gentle glow of a repeated canister user. I mean, do we know what that looks like other than from ourselves? I guess so. I guess not, but that so he looks kinda like us. The magic of Susha Island has powerfully augmented him. He looks you over, trying to analyze how strong you've grown, and he doesn't look impressed. I'm Gesh Shaper. I was brought here, like you, a victim of the trickery of Trajkov, the outsider, the invader. You've gone to great effort to reach me. Now I must know, why are you here? Well, so we have two options. I've come to kill you. Prepare to die. Yeah, I don't think so. 
Um, not now, Andrews. I've come here to speak with you. I want to learn more about this island. I am glad. I would like to parlay with you. There is a way you can help me and the Shaper people, and if you help me, I can help you in return. Eh, he seems a little bit self-interested, but, you know, maybe some Shapers are, but I don't know. And the Shaper people, yeah, okay, well that interests us. Tell me how you came to Susha Island. He laughs. The same way you did. I was in prison, captured by Trajkov. I was being sent to a new colony to take it over and administer it. A mild honor at best, though not a position without hope of advancement. Then his ship slew my craft, and I swam ashore at the eastern edge of the island. There I was abducted. Oh, so he came on the eastern shore, as opposed to us who came on the western shore. I wonder if, if you remember, we were on the western shore, and then we swam ashore, and right near Vakery, but their boat got wrecked by our dying craft. By who? Trajkov. Trajkov and his dummies, his puppets, addled in the brain by shaper magic beyond them. Trajkov abducted me for the same reason he captured you. He tried to capture me. He didn't succeed, pal. He needed a shaper's help to master the incredible power here. He was a fool. How could he think any shaper in his right mind would help him usurp our sacred secrets? As soon as I figured out what he had found, I took action. Alright, sounds, sounds reasonable. He had found the Gene Forge. It is the most amazing work of Shaper Magic I've ever found. It has the power to rework, to remake anyone who uses it, giving them awesome power. Gesh laughs. All you need is a pair of gloves, a pair of special gloves, which modulates and channels the power of the Gene Forge. He had one pair of these gloves, one happy pair, and I took them, and I have them here. We can say, can I have those gloves? He's not going to say yes, so we're not stupid. You know, Evodius may be a newbie, but he's not dumb. Okay, well, what happened then? I will use the Gene Forge. Its power is too great to be wasted, and only I have the strength and control to master it. First, though, there is a stalemate. Trajkov is there, and I am here. Neither of us has the strength to defeat the other. That is why I have allowed you to reach me without slaying you. Can I have the gloves? No, there is only one person who will ever use them. Me. Yep, yep, we fig figured as much. Give me a second. Wow, my car's extended warranty, you know. Do y'all get those calls? It's like, kind of, it's like, everybody knows. Hi, it's Rachel or Diane or Emily or whatever from Dealer Services. Your file came across my... Give me a break. Anyway, so... <laughs> well, so, Gesh washes you... With his fiery eyes, no movement of yours escapes his eyes. What do you wish now? Well, let's see, what do you want? And how can you help me? Well, let's ask him what this ruin is. I do not know. I do not concern myself with history. It is not relevant to my quest, my new destiny. I have adopted this place, adapted this place to my own purposes and filled it with guards of my choosing. Well, what sort of guards? The finest drakes and battle creations. I do not, I, I did not know it was possible to make drakes anymore. Now I can, thanks to the marvelous canisters. So many things our people denied us, so many things I can do now. My creations wander these halls, and many of them are ordered to kill strangers on sight. I would suggest restricting your movements, otherwise you may be slain. Well, I can say, I am very interested in learning about the ancient literature. Could you tell your guards not to attack me? Gesh frowns, then he thinks about it. Then he laughs. If I thought there was a chance you could possibly hurt me in this elevated state, I would refuse. But you are my guest. Go ahead. Wander around. If you enter my chambers or try to go anywhere where you should not, my traps will make short work of you. My chambers are the nor my chambers are in the northwest. Stay away. Alright, cool. So, he doesn't think we're a threat whatsoever. But because of that, he's willing to let us wander his facility as long as we don't go into the northwest corner, which is, you know, fine for now. Do you... Okay. <laughs> I tire of this page. You must die now. No, not, not now. And maybe not ever. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Don't you know this island is barred? Why are you still here? This island is barred by the Shaper Council. You can wander this world for a thousand years, and you'll never find a more baffled or impotent group of fools than the Shaper Council. Okay, wow. You have seen the wonders here. You have seen the taste. You've had a taste of the power and the glory that just sits around, ready for the taking. I reject the Shaper Council and all their foolishness. 
this power here is our birthright, and I will not let them steal it. I think Gesh might be a little bit power crazy. Boy. Okay, so let's ask him, what does he want? There is a war on this island. It is a deadly stalemate. At this end, there is me. At the other end, Trajkov. Each of us must slay the other. Each has control of something the other needs. Each of us hopes you will break the deadlock. Trajkov is too proud to admit he needs help. I am not. Help me. Kill him. If you do, I will give you what you want. I will give you power. And I will help you escape this accursed island. Okay, well, you know. You know. I imagine that Thibodius does enjoy getting power. He's been getting it pretty quickly. However, I don't know. I think he's also somewhat alarmed at the idea of, like, you know, that you will not wander the world for a thousand... You can wander the world for a thousand years and not find a bigger band of fools in the shape of can The council is powerful and mighty. Also, I mean, I don't know, Avodius has imbibed a lot of the Shaper doctrine himself, and... No, I don't think he... <laughs> I think he thinks Gesh is a loose cannon. You know, careening around the deck. Okay, what sort of power can you give me? It, that would be telling. Yeah. Well, how can I reach Trajkov? That is your concern. He holds the research halls at the northeast corner of the island. I'm sure you can figure out how to reach him somehow. Trajkov is very powerful. Can you help me kill him? I have a trick which might work. If you are very cunning and clever, you may have a chance. Gesh will hands you a pair of gloves. They are shaping gloves. Cunning. Protective devices commonly used in shaper experiments. To use the gene forge, Trajkov needs a pair of gloves currently in my possession. These are not those gloves. They are an almost perfect replica. Take them to Trajkov. If you are exceptionally convincing, you might be able to get him to believe that these are the shaping gloves I took. If he tries to use them, to, to use these to use the gene forge, he will be in for a very painful surprise. That's actually a pretty good idea. Yeah, Vodius needs to up his tricksiness. All right, well, can you give me equipment or any other help? No, I would much rather keep my resources for myself. You are a strong and industrious soul. Help yourself. And he doesn't mean help him ourselves to his stuff. All right, well, let's see anything else. Susha Island, what do you want? What is in this ruin? Don't you know it's barred? I'm tired. No, we're not going to say die now. <laughs> Alright, I must think on all this. Goodbye. Alright, just do not wander too far into my home. And remember, if you can help me, I can reward you well. Wow, the Gene Forge will be mine. Here is Master. Do not wander. Huh, well. Can we talk to the Drake? It doesn't respond. We have the fake shaping gloves. No, no, everybody, please, stick with me. Let's actually save. Save, save, save. Alright, well. I think Gesh is not... Beyond helping us out a tiny bit, but... Not really. What are these? Pillars. This pylon is covered with ancient carvings. It looks like some sort of ledger, covered with ancient rec records and mathematics. Your best guess for the meaning is that at one point, some people had a lot of sheep, and then later, they had more sheep. Well, you know, if you're a pastoral society, that's quite important. And even if you're not, that's still, you know, well, it's not cash money, it's still money, basically. Wealth. Wow, there's a lot of freaking drakes and battle creations here. Boy. This guy. This passage is filled with nasty, with large mines. They're exceptionally huge. They're exceptionally huge and nasty specimens. And the moment you get close, they turn their sensors towards you. You notice that the sensors on top have long, thin red stripes running down their length. Alright. Let's not go right there. Uh, yep. Let's just sort of take a look, a gander, I, I guess, around this. Can we send a, a claw bug to just scout? Okay, nope, there's plenty of mines over there. They have a stripe though, which means something, I don't know what, but. Oh, here's another ruined room. 
Huh, those statues look like shaper statues, but they're probably not. This pylon is carved with new, numerous vertical and horizontal lines, forming strange and elaborate patterns. Let's just see if any of... Oh, man, come on. My microphone... My cursor is trying to cancel out things. Yep, yep, more sheep. Okay, this pylon is covered with ancient carvings. It looks like some sort of song or prayer. There are also carvings of the sun and people worshipping some sort of rock. Or maybe an animal. Huh. If it's an animal, I would suggest that they were pastoral. Yeah, I'm thinking these people were pastoral. You know, raising uh, sheep and whatnot. It's interesting, sheep. So they uh, definitely are in possession of some of the same critters that we are today. Oh, here's the... Someone has recently grown a healing and essence pool here. They are clearly recent growths, well-maintained and fed. These pools require considerable skill, both alchemical and magical, to create. So Gesh is no joke. Gesh is no joke. But let's actually... Odious, you get over here and charge up. You're... Oh, he... well, he's probably actually... Let's see, he has a pretty good amount of essence these days. What's in here? Let's not steal anything, but... Okay, a bunch of trash and bones. Ooh, well, that's not stealing since it's not labeled not yours. Thanks. Let's actually save again. I don't want to... I don't know like, how clearly marked the off-limits areas are. I don't want to get into a fight with him yet. Okay, this is another old ruined room. Okay, the, this pylon is covered with ancient carvings. It looks like a description of some sort of ceremony. There is one odd carving near the bottom. It looks, strangely enough, almost like an, exactly like an artilla. Which is weird, because why would they have knowledge of artillas? And more sheep. Unless... What does that mean? They could shape, or... Yeah, more sheep. I don't know, you know. Good times, I guess. Economically. <laughs> there's a kitchen, it looks like. Oh, there's mines in there, so let's stay out of there. For now. It's probably into Gesh's room. I'm not going to be a bad guest yet. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Alright, well, it's actually... Ah... Uh... Come on. Well. You dummies. You could have just said, bro, don't go here. Let's see. Yep, yep. Hopefully we can kill him quickly. And. Oh, jeez. Or anybody else comes. It's like, sorry. We did not mean to do that. Ugh. Yeah, well, whatever. Let's see. I can't get to him. Some kind of some poison there. Battle Gamma? Let's see if I can... Hello. Oh yeah, see, no one else is... No one will be the wiser. Alright, well, we'll keep that in mind that we've perhaps opened that way. <laughs> Let's heal. Wow. I'm gonna save again. Didn't mean to do that. To be honest, what is in here? Anything? Okay, nothing really. So, were Artillas pre-existent and not actually created by the Shapers originally? Or did these Ancients actually have the ability to shape? Nothing here either. Or was the, you know, if the Artilla made by the Shapers, but these ancient peoples? We don't know how old the Shapers are, really. 
We're not stealing his treasures. We're not. We're just exploring, looking at the really cool, awesome, ancient stuff. We love history. Yay. History. Woo! Archaeology! Yeah! Even though it's been repeatedly said that we're not terribly interested in history. I think Evodius is starting to get interested a, a little bit. Ooh, what are you? The Gamma Greeter. Lead on. Alright. We'll just tell it we're following. So he... out of our face. Okay, the obelisk has only recently been dragged up here, probably by someone very strong. It reads, Realm of Gesh. Alright. Oh, there's a way out. Let's see what's up here. Okay, nothing much. Patrolling creations. Okay, let's go right here. But we are going to need to go out that door, I think, so we can find what's next. Maybe there's more stuff to see. Well, obviously there's more stuff to see. But stuff of interest. Stuff of interest. Wow, he has a lot of freaking creations. This food budget must be intense. Well, we're not going to take his stuff, like I said. Not now, anyway. We are not nearly strong enough. Cryoas and claw bugs and flesh are not going to cut it. This foul smelling room provides sleeping quarters for the humanoid creations of the temple. Oh, this is where the battle betas and what have you sleep. And it reeks. Because they are not nice smelling critters. Or creatures. They're not really critters. None of the drakes are not critters. They're not stupid. They're smart. Although I don't know about these ones, but they're not stupid and battle betas and gammas and alphas. While not smart, they're marginally rational. Alright, well, I think that's going to do it for today. The next day, tomorrow, let's actually just take a look at what's out here. Oh, come on. So that would lead to the Sentinels. Oh wow, we have not cleared the Great Temple. So we're just going to go back inside. And lead on. I will follow. Sure, sure. Yeah, great. Get up, get lost. All right. So th next time we will continue on our exploration of this area in the northwest and see what we else we can find. And so thank you for joining me on this episode of my let's play of Gene Forge One. Here are my, te uh, my, my temple, my channel, Idol Wisdom. Take care, y'all.